I'm all loaded up, ready to go to New Jersey, check out these mini trucks. Maybe I'll come home with one, maybe I won't. Uh, almost there. I've been looking to get one of these mini trucks for quite some time. I wondered if it would fit on my 5x10 utility trailer, so we'll find out. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the right. These mini trucks are a little bit over 10 foot long and weigh just under 1,500 pounds. My trailer has a 2,000 pound rating, so we should be good. Your destination is on the right. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh there. Hey! Huh? Oh yeah, it was easy. Not too bad. I got my uh, oh, for the YouTube. No way. Yeah, you got quite a few. In the office and then yeah, no problem. I see you got some coming in on the 21st too. Yeah, there's more trucks coming in. How many do you move? You move that many? You move like a month? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. This is the one that they're selling with the dump. That's the one I'm looking at, but there's like a lot more. There's a shitload more. Uh, I think the keys, someone left the key on. Yeah? Yeah. Shit. They're nice frames on these. 1,500 pounds, look. <laughs> Try sitting in it. It's got a lot of room. That's plenty of room. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, plenty of room. All right. Yeah. You got the wipers, the horns. Yeah, they got heaters. You can get them with air conditioning and everything. Huh. Oh, it's going down. Yeah, I'm doing it. It's a tractor battery, right? Is it a word on? No, Oh, yeah. All these sides flip down. But look at the size of the bed. It's tremendous. But look at the little 12-inch tires. They got lift kits and everything. Look at this. I know. Look at this one. This was repainted. Yeah. These are the Hondas. These are a little more money. I don't know if these are for sale. You put them in Vermont so you could drive them all over the place. You can actually legally put these in Connecticut, you know. This one, the motor's in the back, I think. But like, instead of having a UTV, isn't that, you know what I mean? Are you kidding? I sell it if I could put a plow on it. They put the plows on them. Now you got heat and everything else. I know. They're all, I think they all have the same, almost the same drive line, but they're all three cylinders. What are they all four-wheel drive? All the ones they get are four-wheel drive, but some don't have, like, see, that's got high-low? Yeah. I got to have high-low and at least a rear lock. I don't think this one has any lock. Because usually it's up here. So this doesn't have a locker on it. Mm. Clutch is kind of high. There's a big drop here. feels like the differential locks are still on. It is. They're fighting against each other. Still on. The brakes are touchy. They work good. Turn on, but it's oh, not the light on. wasn't turning on, yeah, that's so why. Feel it binding? Yeah, it does. It's because the dip is on in the back. Oh, uh, he just bought one? Yeah. Yeah, they move along pretty good, huh? Yeah. What are they, 38 horse or something like that? 47. Oh, 47. You want to see some power? Stand fucking back. Right now. Here we go. That diff lock you were asking the front don't lock. The front is one or the other, one or the other lock up. So oh. what happens is the axle lock is 
one of the tire would move and the diff lock would lock up the both three. Okay. So oh, so it's not actually, it doesn't lock it the doesn't two lock together. It doesn't lock all four. It just makes one. It just makes one of the front ones because if it did, then you won't be able to turn. I couldn't believe how fast it was. He got me nervous. He was flying down the road. He was doing about 50 miles an hour down the side streets going around the corners. But yeah, let me show you some of the real clean stuff then. Yeah, something with a, at least a rear axle lock. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be Suzuki, right? No. Okay, we have a few of the high jets. The high jets? Yeah, the high jets are popular too. They are Toyota Mini. Oh, is that it? Yeah. yeah. What kind of brakes are they? Are they uh, drum? The front, uh, drums in the back. Yeah, I gotta have at least a rear lock. I have 18 acres and it's very hilly. So I think if I want these don't so, have a lot of articulation. So yes. yeah, exactly. You need to have that little bit in the back. Just yeah. To show. So the diff lock is actually the one that uh, the climber edition in the hot suit high jets does that. Not a bad truck except for just the driver's seat. 35,000 kilometers. It has high low transfer case. This one has the diff lock, the one that we we're talking about. How much does this weigh? Um, the truck weighs 1,500 pounds. 1,500. <laughs> Sounds healthier. Don't forget these trucks are 25 plus years old. So they're not going to be perfect and probably need a little bit of repair here and there. Yeah, see this already got pitted frame. And of course, it's how much you want to spend on one, too. So I see some of them, they, it shuts off at 30 or something. Is that on the Suzuki's? Yeah, I think so. As you speed up, then the diff lock will be gone. Yeah. The light comes on the 4x4. Right. And then when you, do the, when you lift it, you don't even have to push it. As you put it, uh, the okay. low would be only in 4x4. Okay. Maybe I'm going to trade it for two. This one's blistering through pretty good on a tailgate, though. I mean, I know none yeah. of them are going to be perfect. Would you be interested in an expensive dump? <laughs> Not really. They come with manuals or anything like that? Uh, yeah, they sell them service manuals. I do have one for Suzuki that I can email you. You can print it out. Um, and then all the other ones are also, there's another dealer that sells them for like 25 bucks. The PTO down. This is a heavy duty bed, so. Yeah. This bed, I think it's painted. Looks painted. Yeah, someone painted yeah. the frame too. But the truck is clean. I mean, inside out, this is a clean truck. Yeah. And then that's a deep dump, which is going to be tough to open. The size is yeah. welded. Yeah. Nobody likes that. Nobody, because it's harder to load it. People would just put a plywood side up on that if they yeah. need it. Yeah, controller, exactly. <laughs> that's a much heavy duty, but that the sides don't open. Yeah. I kind of like that. And doesn't have diff lock. I thought all the dumps had diff lock. Not really. Very few trucks have diff lock. So oh. I didn't know that. Oh, it has axle lock. Yeah. So axle lock is basically just for the rear posi. Just to con no, not even. Oh, it is. The rear posi is the diff lock, and the axle lock is basically just one of the front tires would lock up. It's an auto oh. axle. Oh. So when you lift the lever, it connects the drive shaft to right. the front, and then axle light means it's. One it's of going the front. to one of the yes, front. Exactly. And these are a little bit different model. You know, a lot of people like the mustache. Oh, is that what they call them? Black grill. Oh yeah. These are the older models. They made them until 91, and then from 90, 91 they started these too. And then they went up with these up until 98. They kept making this shape because the two shapes they made them in this shape and this shape. They changed the design of the dash and they kept it. This was the most popular shape, so they kept it. But the drivetrain is all still the same. same? Same engine, same engine model, parts is the same. So the older ones are a little bit roomier. The newer ones, the design of the dash makes it down. Japanese people fit in it. Take it easy, don't go crazy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they have a good turning radius in these, yeah. huh? This, this tick, 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 tick that you feel, they all the, the hot sauce is very common. It, it's a dry noise that you I, Even that 5,000 kilometer truck would do that too. Huh. We put W40, it goes away, and then and and then it comes back. Later it comes back. Yeah. I think you gotta use it a little more than that. So this is in two wheel drive right now. Yeah. And then I have the diff lock. They're both, they're both going. Right. And then when you have the, if you just push a button. And this has the low and high too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you, when you have the. Oh yeah, it's not gonna going spin, yeah. right? And then you'll see the difference here in the low. Oh, the, low, the yeah. Low, low going back with the diff lock on, man, it's going to have every power. Oh, yeah, so you, you can you, idle you pretty, pretty much. Yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna drive it in in high and you'll, you'll notice the difference. I'm turn this off. See the high is how much. Oh yeah. Oh, that's low, yeah. Yeah, and low, sorry. And now it's in, it's in two wheel drive, or I can have it into four wheel drive. So this is normal four wheel drive. Yeah. Oh, you can actually, it's a push, push button four wheel drive? Yeah. Push button four wheel. Or, and then you can turn it off into two wheel drive. too far. <laughs> yeah, took a U-turn, right? Car behind. Is there? I had a cop right behind me. Right so there? Right in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I came right in front of him. Did right. he go by? He, right there. Right there. See? He's turning he's around. He's making a U-turn. Uh, <laughs> shit. No, nope, no, nope, he's not turning around. No? No. Alright. They don't, they don't bust your ass, do they? No, I mean, not yet. <laughs> and these are the same motors? They use all the uh, same no, motors? The, this is the Hatsu motor, so it's Toyota parts. So same horsepower? Uh, yeah, same horsepower. And 660cc, they all have uh, their own motor. And that clutch is good? Yeah, clutch is good. Motor this is a nice and tight truck. And so, like, here in two-wheel drive, it won't... Yeah, right, yeah, because yeah. it's articulated yeah, up. Maybe maybe with just a diff lock it would make it. It should. Because it, yeah, it has enough for the back right. two tires, yeah. This is why you're looking for diff lock, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, because when you go off-roading. This is the, the brake thing, so this might be low because this is... And you see, everything about Toyota is a, the truck a little bit sturdy. So even when you open and close this thing, you'll yeah, this is low, so you see how this is low. That's why the light's on, yeah. yeah. And it so it must need brake brakes or something usually or there's a leak one or the other i didn't see any leaks that is that's weird <laughs> is it, it's not an antenna what the heck would that be Well, yeah, that was probably worth a lot of money. You probably could have sold that on eBay for. That thing, right? Yeah. Uh, I put 24 a 12 is the size. For you. If you put the off-road tires, this is the only truck, the high jet, that will take without lifting. It has a bigger, longer. Oh, the, the brake light was on. The fluid was a little low. It might just need pads. You know how when the pads go in, it'll it yeah, goes down. In the back, it has drums. Right? Back's drums, yeah. Yeah, the pads don't look too bad either. Oh, and this one, the motor is more toward the back too. Yes, it is. The hot suit So it's a little bit better traction wise. Suzuki is... But there's more toward the front. Yeah. But I, if you had to buy one, I wonder how much that would even cost. It can't be a ridiculous amount of money, right? These things? They're just a tailgate. Cheaper to just spray them, I think. Yeah, but Tailgates that rust... Tailgates are like $120. One guy lost it on the way home. Yeah, this one I think so far, for the money, yeah. you know what I mean? Because this one, the motor is nice. Yeah. The motor sounds good. You know these trucks pretty damn good, don't you? I like this. <laughs> you really use this to transport? Yeah, we cut it up actually to make it to the size of the container. So we drive it to the container and it right off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you're good at driving these. I'm watching you go, you're like that far away. So let's test the 4 by 4 system first. This, this has a little more meat so because of yeah, yeah. The tires are better okay. oh yeah and also and you got a little bit yeah. of extra weight and four by four, four wheel yeah. works yeah four wheel works and the, now we'll see how the diff lock uh, and the, the low work oh yeah <laughs> right yeah so I'm two wheel yeah watch out for the cops <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah see that's a trailer I got oh so. yeah this is perfect we loaded many times. This is way better than the first one. Oh, yeah. A little better than the second one. 
runs like And you do the timing belt at 100? They yeah, do them? Yeah. And if you need to dump something at this speed, you can solve it. Holy shit, <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, it's going up. <laughs> oh my god. I think you'd probably definitely get pulled over by the cop. <laughs> if they see me <laughs> doing that. Made it without an incident. Woo! Good. It calmed down more. It warmed up. So it's oh quiet. yeah. Well, there it is. Yeah, you can raise it. It's coming home. Thank you, Amir. Loading her up. I ended up choosing the second one that I took for a test drive. I don't really need a dump truck, although it would be nice, you know. I figure this one's a good fix for the money. It has the rear lock on it, push button four wheel drive. It runs good, it's in good shape. The clutch is a little weak on it, but other than that, you know. Butter and low. You gotta watch, it's a, their vehicles are 25 years old, so you gotta go over them. Axle boots too. You know there's gonna be issues here and there, some small, some big. Just like buying any used car. Hold it. You're in low. This way a little. All right. Keep going. It's on the rim, plenty. A little more. A little more. Right there. Being stock, we only needed about two inches height, not that width of the tire. As soon as you put a lift and some tires, you can pull right on with nothing. Hey boys, step aside. Time to let the big dog work his magic. Well, I got it. I'm driving her home. It's actually going pretty good. Not too bad. We'll find out when we get on the highway. Hope the tires are brand new on the trailer so nothing should happen. Put six straps on it. So now if people want to know if you can do it with a 5x10 trailer, sure you can. Just drove almost almost two hours. Everything's good. Thank you, Amir. Made it home. Yeah. <laughs> He's already banging second gear trying to turn the wheels off of it. Oh, it's got a brake light out. It goes all right, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the lights are working now. Oh no, it's running the lights out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow if you want to see what I do to this mini truck. I'm also going to be doing measurements, comparisons, and repairs. That's right. Hey, 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 set.